Okay, so fixing my mistake in this again. Ugh, that's what happens when you do videos at 1 a.m. All right, so here a distinction which represents eight students as 40 degrees. So that means one student equals five degrees because 40 divided by eight is five. So each of these just multiply them by five. So 12 times five is 60. So 60 degrees for a high merit. Um, and then 39 times five is 195. So 195 degrees for the merit. And then lastly, that's 65, isn't it? Yeah, 65 for an achievement. Let's make sure they add up to 360. They do, so that's right now. <clears throat> um, between 80 and 120 is one standard deviation. The empirical rule says that's 68%. And this is the mistake I made. I was thinking that the test was measured out of 100, but it's not. It's more like an IQ test where the average is 100. So the top would be 100 plus 1.96 standard deviations. Now, um, 1.96 times 20 is 100, is 39.2, so it's 139.2. Now, the problem is, some people use two standard deviations, and because this is a test, you might say that you can't have a decimal score. So if, there's two reasons why you might be justified to round this up to 140. Um, okay, and lastly, the range is the biggest which is 113 minus the smallest. 113 minus 82 is 31. And the standard deviation you can get on the calculator, which I don't have with me right now. So if I was just to sneak a peek at the okay, just original here. video and just grab the answer at the end, then I don't have to type it up. Okay, uh, 9.8 is what the calculator gave me last time. Okay. Right, I think that's fine now. The maximum minus the minimum and standard deviation get from the calculator. I wonder which answer they'll take in the market scheme or if they go for both. Um, because I don't, I, th I think we should only really take integers because it's a test score. So I kind of feel like they will go for the 140. Uh, 68 is the empirical rule, plus or minus one. Uh, standard deviation is 68%. And uh, this checks out, this adds up to 360. So I think, I hope we're okay now. Thanks for catching that, Tom.